Okay, in this video, you want to see some uh, examples of how to calculate proportions using data. And if you'll recall, a proportion is calculated by taking the frequency of an event divided by the sample size. Uh, it's that simple. It's just a ratio. It's a special kind of ratio in that regard, in that it's a ratio of the number of uh, times something happens relative to the total number of observations in your data. And for example, we've got a, a sample data set over here. It's some customer satisfaction data. We had a uh, sample size of 74 total in our data set. And you can see that they were asked how satisfied they were with a product. And they could choose from very satisfied to satisfied, unsatisfied, and very unsatisfied. And what we find is that we've got 18 very satisfied customers, 25 who are just satisfied, then 16 that are unsatisfied, and 15 that are very unsatisfied. And so on the whole, we have more customers that are satisfied than are unsatisfied, but clearly there isn't uh, a consensus. Not everyone can completely agree. So one way, because we've got 74 observations here, um, if I tell you, well, 25 of our customers in the survey were satisfied, it doesn't really tell you much uh, to know that there's 25 because you don't know, you might not know that there were 74 uh, observations or 74 respondents in the survey, but even if you did know that, 25 out of 74 is kind of an obscure number. So one way that we might approach this is by transforming these frequencies into proportions. And we can create these proportions very simply. Um, let's, we could start with the proportion for very satisfied and the proportion would be equal to 18, the, the number of the frequency uh, for very satisfied, divided by the sample size, which is 74. So 18 divided by 74, and that would give us uh, 0.243. And so we could have the proportion here and 0.243 is that proportion. We could do the same thing then for the satisfied group and say the proportion is going to be 25 divided by 74, which is going to be 0.338. And we could list that out here. And we could calculate the proportion for the unsatisfied group, which would be, again, their frequency, 16, divided by the sample size, which is 74, and that would give us a proportion of 0.216. And we could do the same thing one last time for the very unsatisfied group, and find that the proportion is 15 divided by 74, and that would give us a proportion of 0 0.203. Okay. And so now we've converted our frequencies into proportions to tell us what, what proportion of the total data set, or 74 respondents, fell into each category. And if we added this up, remember that proportions range in value from 0 to 1, right? Um, they can be 0, they can never fall below 0, and they're never greater than 1. But when you calculate proportions like this for an entire sample, uh, for an entire data set, an entire variable, they should all add up to 1, right? The sum of all the proportions should, should be 1.000, and in this case we find that it is. If you add these up, you'll get, you'll get a 1. Uh, and so this is an example of creating proportions here. Now the proportions are all good, uh, fine and good here. We've calculated them. We know that uh, 0.338 of the sample was satisfied, and that's the largest proportion, which corresponds to the largest frequency in this group as well. But we tend to think not in terms of zeros and ones or ranges from zero to one, um, people tend to think better in terms of percentages. And a percentage is really just a special kind of rate where we take a 
start with a proportion, so we've got the frequency divided by the sample size, and then we just multiply it by 100. And by multiplying this proportion by 100, what we're doing is we're putting this onto a scale from 0 to 100. Okay, so from 0 to 100. Uh, we can do that then by taking each of these proportions that we've calculated and multiplying them by 100. And we can do that very simply by moving the decil decimal point two spaces to the right. Okay, so if we move the decimal point two spaces to the right, we get 24.3% of our sample was very satisfied. If we do the same thing, move our decimal place two spaces to the right for the satisfied respondents, then we get 33.8%. We do the same thing for the unsatisfied, we get 21.6%, and then we can do it one last time for the very unsatisfied customers, and we get 20.3%. And these will add up to a total of 100%, representing 100% of our sample. So now we've converted these into percentages, and uh, we tend to think a little bit better in terms of percentages. We know, tend to know that 100% represents all of something, and 0% re represents none of it. So we can start by creating our proportions, and then take those proportions and convert them into percentages. And we see that 33.8% of our sample was uh, satisfied with our product, 24% was very satisfied and that uh, about 21.6 percent was unsatisfied and 20 percent was very unsatisfied. And this is an example of starting with a frequency distribution and then converting those frequencies into proportions on a scale of 0 to 1 and then turning those proportions into percentages on a scale from 0 to 100.